404 boxing. All right, y'all, I'm on this morning commute. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to upload this before I go into the job, but um, hopefully I'll get it uploaded this afternoon. At, I mean, it's evening at the latest. Um, and I was just doing an interview, um, I think it was um, with Aki. Shout out to him and the work he puts in on his channel with David Benavidez. And uh, David Benavidez said a lot of stuff pertaining to... Um, the interview was pretty much pertaining to whether or not he wants to Charlo fight and if he's pushing the fight. And um, if he's going to push for the fight. And two takeaways I want to talk about. And don't really have a whole lot to do with Charlo. But just with um, David Benavidez and mentality and some truths that I feel like he said that a lot of fighters aren't, aren't saying. The first one was he said that, you know, he's just a fighter. He doesn't send offers, but he's talked to his people and told them that should his fight go well, his upcoming fight in March, and he expects it to go well, that he's already told them to try to make the Charlo fight for him. And, um, you know, he said his hands, you know, all he can do is push for the fight, but he can't do anything to actually make the fight happen. But he's asking for his people to try to pursue that fight for him. And, I, and I'm going to stop right there and speak on that before I go forward. You know, to me, that that's a dose of honesty that a lot of these fighters don't don't admit. You know, a lot of these fighters walk around here and try to act like they got more power than what they really have. And they're talking about, you know, uh, they're sending out offers or give, you, know, you take you take 50%, I mean, you take 60%, 40%, I'll take 60 and stuff like that. When in actuality, it hadn't even gotten far enough for that to even be the case. And if the other fighter did say, okay, let's do it, that's all, that's as far as we are, we go. It, it pretty much would be, okay, well, he said he'll take it. Now back to the people behind the scenes to see if they can make the fight happen. And the reality is that's putting the cart before the horse. These fighters are not in a position, and I've spoken about this in another video, that these fighters are not in a position to throw offers out there to get fights made. And David Benavidez is basically saying that. And I know that somebody listening to this video is going to say, well, that's David Benavidez. He's not in that kind of position. But I'm here to tell you that 99.9% of these fighters are not in that kind of position. Um, and, and I don't care how big y'all think they are and how much clout and power and respect y'all think they command in the sport. These guys are not the shot callers. They do not push things um, along the way when it comes to the sport of boxing, these networks and these promoters and even sometimes these sanctioning bodies um, hold things up more so than they do move things along. So I'm glad that Benavidez that said that and I hope some of these fans take heed and stop just taking some of the things that these fighters say just because it, it makes for a good sound bite as gospel. Because the reality is these fighters do not do not they do not command that type of power. Not when it comes to the business side of boxing. And the fact is that all most of these fighters try to be businessmen, but the reality is they're not in a position a, a power position when it comes to the business. All right, the other thing he said, he spoke about losses. He said a lot of these fighters take take these take it too serious. They want to be like Floyd Mayweather and want to be undefeated. And they take taking a loss too serious and they take too long to come back after a loss instead of just doing like the UFC guys, get right back in the saddle and get right back in a big fight. And you know, boxing has not always been that way. It used to be if a guy took a loss, you know, you see him in a rematch versus the guy he lost to in a short period of time. And if not that guy in another, you know, a fight versus a solid contender to try to get back in a position to either get that rematch or put himself back in a position to climb back toward the top. So I agree with Benavidez about that, you know what I'm saying? And I hope that, you know, more of these fighters, more of these undefeated fighters drop that mentality and stop worrying about protecting a, an O when in reality all they're doing is stagnating their careers because they're strategically moving around and avoiding the toughest challenges. The reality is that taking a loss does not undo all the work you've done in the sport. You know, one loss doesn't undo your greatness or all your achievements. These fighters got to get over that. That's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxing, I'm out. Peace. Hey, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.